Hello, hi, how are you today? So this week in the energies, I want to talk to you about it because we have a new moon. We also have the solstice. It's honestly my favorite time of the year. Longest day of the year, summertime, you get to stay up late, except when you can't, when you got to go to sleep because then you're going to get woken up at night, right? So needless to say, this is a very pivotal year. And what is it about this solstice energy? Walk away, walk away, walk on by, because you have to be able to know what to let go of. Things are going to shift. They're going to transform. Now, that's something I want to remind everyone of is that we are the stabilizers. We are the ones that aren't supposed to be running around like chickens with our heads cut off. We are the ones that are stabilizing things by integration and by balancing masculine and feminine energy. How do you do that? And what exactly is integration? Well, integration is actually pulling in and reconnecting those higher parts of yourself to the seated parts that are on the inside. Now, that takes time. It can actually take up to three months. So we're starting a season and you have until the next season. This ascension is kind of like the bus. You miss one bus, another wave is going to come along and push you or nudge you and hit you hard. So why don't you tell me, how were you blasted open? Were you blasted open and all your stuff exploded and then what happened? If you're new to my channel, I help people with their ascension particularly ascension symptoms, what to do, how to do it, and I've created my own modality to make it focused, concise, and spot on. What about these energies? Okay, this is a young moon. This new moon is nicknamed the young moon. I like to think of that as getting your youthfulness back, getting your vibe back, getting your mojo back, getting your energy back. In other words, receiving some things that actually belong to you as the rightful owner and much more than that so that you are energized and you can become healthier. What's that I'm hearing out there? A lot of people are having fatigue. What about the female cycles? What about your menstrual cycle? What about perimenopause? What about all of the aches, pains, and everything that goes with it? Yeah, it's pretty brutal at times. The migraine headaches, the irritability. Are you feeling depressed and irritable? I have solutions for that and they are permanent solutions because it is the integration of your brand new template for reproduction. I'm going to be covering a lot of this in my webinar. The link is below. You can check it out. We are going to be meeting for four weeks. The other energetic here is the solstice. Longest day of the year, shortest, uh, you know, the shortest night of the year, and they got the flip side. Well, let me tell you, I just got back from Brazil. And as someone who has been integrating their brand new template in their light body, what it can tell you about it is it greatly affected my diurnal rhythms to be on the other side of the equator and to feel myself starting to go down as soon as the sun went down that was a wild sensation and even i didn't catch on for the first day the second day i was saying why is it that i want to take a nap it was light and bright outside not a cloud in the sky it was not like chicago where we might have i don't know several inches of snow on the ground and you feel a natural inclination to go hibernate this was the urge to go hibernate and nap without any of the usual indicators. Truly, the light was affecting my diurnal rhythms. Now, this was a cool thing, though, I thought in retrospect, because I thought to myself, you know what? This lets me know that I can travel and I can tap into wherever I are, am and I can connect with the available light. And my body is responsive. I'm responding properly. My biology is ready to gear up and keep me healthy and youthful. And the other thing about it is I had no headaches. Now, after a couple of days, I acclimated. What some of you need to do is literally acclimate at the new level, the new 
living vibrational level that you live at. And this is something that's not widely understood, although people are starting to feel it. They've been sensing it for a while, but actually getting there takes learning how to maintain yourself at that up level and not crash down and not feel like everything's pulling you back down. How do you escape from your situations without making it feel like an escape or desperation and making it feel like it's just a gracious saying goodbye and letting go of things. Well, it is through my modality, which is to help you literally swap out and begin the integration of your light body. It is not just a small thing either. This is a much larger template that encompasses five subtle bodies. And those bodies have to interact and work in harmony with each other, just like your lungs and your heart have to harmonize with each other. Now, what about the men? Because men don't always let on as to what's going on. What I will say is this, their cycles too are greatly affected. They can have some ED, they can have irritability, they can have depression, they can have migraine headaches. They can feel affected. This is not just exclusively for females. And yet, if you love a man, what would you do to help him? So I'm going to be covering the reproductive part on my uh, new class that's coming up in July. It's intended to prepare you for the Lion's Gate, which is another huge energetic. Why? Because that will be an influx of energy that for some people, if they get on it and they ride it like a surfboard, they're going to be golden. And I mean golden, like golden new earth, golden. If not, you're going to find that this is another splitting away where there's just people milling about and they will probably catch the next wave. But this is an all, also an opportunity. Opportunity comes knocking with every single one of these energy waves that people feel. Even the ones that are like solar flares, you know, like what's it tapping on you that's gonna open? What sense, you know, needed that? It reminds me of uh, in Back to the Future where Marty's like, you know, hey, we need like, you need like, you know, 2.1 gigawatts of electricity. And Doc's like, how am I gonna generate that? You need a bolt of lightning. Maybe some of us need like that solar flare in order for things to blast open on us that we really need. So I'd like you to be able to flip your mindset about this, open your heart, connect your high heart chakra, get an activation, really feel what this is supposed to feel like and integrate the new 5D template of relationship. It is something that uh, does take time. It takes linear time to do this. The sun goes up, the sun goes down. But you can learn how to do things in quantum time using my modality. So I also do sessions. I also have six books on the topics. I have numerous webinars. There are things that are foundational things that you need in order to be sex successful, okay? In order to be successful, there are foundational things that you need for your body, for your life, for the how-to that you will learn. So I hope to see you there. Reach out if you have questions. I hope you have a happy solstice. I hope that you're not too affected by the moon energy, but I know what to do. I know what herbal supplements you should take. We're going to work on your marma points and everything that is in between because I invite questions. During it, I just open up the floor and I'm like, open discussion, question and answer segment. Let's get going with this. You can listen or you can participate. I encourage participation. But for some of you, if this is new to you, I don't want you to feel intimidated. You will feel, you will get going, you'll be able to know how some of this is supposed to go. And maybe you'll bypass some of the errors that a lot of other people you know, who knows what's been happening over 10 years. All I can say is it's time. It's time with this solstice in this year because next year is really going to be heady. 
So hope to see you there. Have a great day. Bye.